Hey there, fellow developers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to explore one of the most popular in-memory data stores out there, Ridis. And the best part, we're going to install it on Ubuntu 22.04, which is one of the most popular Linux distributions around. So, let's get started. So, what is Ridis? Simply put, Ridis is an open source in-memory data store that can be used as a database, message broker, and even a caching layer. It's known for its high performance, low latency, and ease of use. With Redis, you can store and retrieve data quickly and efficiently, making it a great choice for real-time web applications, chatbots, and more. First, open up a terminal window and update your package list with the following command. Also run the upgrade command afterwards if there are any packages that need an upgrade. Next, install Redis using the following command. The Redis server package is available from the official Ubuntu repositories. The command installs the Redis server database alongside other packages and dependencies. Now that we have Redis installed, let us make some configurations changes. Open the Redis configuration file. Locate the supervised instruction by scrolling down the file. To administer Redis as a service, you can use this directive to choose your favorite init system. This has the default setting of no. Set this directive to systemd because Ubuntu 22.04 utilizes systemd to manage running services. Save the changes and exit the configuration file. Then restart the Redis server for the changes to take effect. You can check the status of the service by running this command. As you can see it is just running fine. To quit press the letter Q. To enable the Redis server to start automatically on system startup run this command. Use this command to check the version installed. Now that we've configured Redis, let's test it out. We can use the Redis command line tool to interact with our Redis server. Upon running the command, your prompt will change. To test connectivity, run the ping command. The output pong will be displayed meaning the server is running just fine. Let's try setting a key value pair using the following command. We will set a key called city, which will hold Paris as the value. As you can see, our key value pair has been successfully set. We can retrieve it using the following command. By default, authentication is not set up, allowing unrestricted access to stored data. To enable authentication, open the Redis configuration file with your preferred text editor. In the configuration file, locate and uncomment the require pass directive. Set a strong password. The password you set will be the one used for authentication. For the changes to take effect, restart the Redis service. Let us now test if password authentication now works. Let us run the commands that we run earlier on. This time, Redis will generate an error, indicating the need for authentication. To continue, use the auth command followed by the password you set in the configuration file. Now, let's configure Redis for remote connections, which is essential if you plan to access your Redis server from a remote location. By default, Redis listens on port 6379 and is accessible only from localhost. However, you can modify the settings to permit remote connections from anywhere. 
set the bind attribute to 000, .00 to allow remote connections from anywhere. Save the changes and exit the configuration file. To effect the change, restart the RIDI service. To confirm that RIDIs can be accessed remotely, run this command. As you can see RIDIs is listening on port 6379 from all external sources or IP addresses. If you have UFW firewall enabled, allow inbound traffic on TCP port 6379. So run this command. I will not run it myself since UFW is not enabled. Run this command to reload the firewall so the changes take effect. To access the RIDIS server remotely, use the following syntax, and that's it. You've successfully installed and tested RIDIS on Ubuntu 22.04. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or run into any issues, drop a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.